Okay, uh, back to talking about Doctor Who. <clears throat> okay. So then... Uh, later... In the 1990s, when I was in high school, I had a friend that borrowed v VHS tapes of recorded Doctor Who episodes off of PBS. So this is where I was a little confused. Uh, because I was I was trying to think like what channel I had watched Doctor Who on originally back in the 80s and I decided it was probably the sci-fi channel since uh, we moved to uh, a different state and so we didn't have cable and I didn't see any Doctor Who so unless unless it was just they just moved it to a different time and I wasn't aware of it. I just assumed it was on sci-fi, a sci-fi channel. Because if it was on PBS, we had PBS. So, considering that this friend of mine in high school in the 1990s had tapes Doctor Who, he had all these VHS, VHS tapes of Doctor Who, it must have, the show must have been on because I know it was on PBS, because I could see commercials, PBS commercials, on the, on the, along with the episodes for Doctor Who. So apparently, the show was on, I guess it was on, like, late at night. So I didn't, I wasn't watching it because it was not on a time where I could see it. Because I was sleeping. So my friend had all these tapes. So he, he borrowed all these tapes to me. Because <clears throat> I, I had never seen. Other than a little bit of Peter Davison, vaguely. The only one I was uh, familiar with was Tom Baker. So my friend, uh, the tapes that he borrowed to me, I think... Yeah, I think he did borrow this one. Genesis, Genesis of the Daleks. So I think he had a little bit of each doctor. Yeah. So at that point, um, through this friend and his VHS tapes, uh, I was introduced to the other doctors. So I remember seeing the very first episode with William Hartnell. I remember seeing um, the War Games uh, series of episodes, which I think is 10 episodes. That's probably, I think that might be the longest uh, series of episodes for any one particular story of Doctor Who. War Games. With Patrick Troughton. I think Dr. Uh, Peter Davison, I think he had recorded some of Peter Davison, but I don't remember any specific uh, titles of, of those. Uh, Colin Baker, I remember seeing uh, the first episode. Uh, where he's chasing his companion around, Perry. And he, so he's acting crazy after his regeneration from Peter Davison to Colin Baker. And I remember Sylvester McCoy episodes. I remember the Happiness Patrol one and that story. Because I, th I think of them, I, I, I sometimes think of them as episodes, but they were actually 
uh, multiple episodes uh, for stories. Each story had multiple episodes. Not like they do now in the modern day Doctor Who. Usually. Actually, uh, originally, uh, each episode, there was the story, and then it had multiple uh, episodes, but uh, there were like subtitles for those episodes. Uh, like with Hart, um, William Hart now, and uh, I think some of Patrick Troughton too. Yeah, there were subtitles for episodes back then. And then they just went to episode, they just numbered the episodes after that. For the classic Doctor Who's, that is. Uh, so I remember the Happiness Patrol and some other ones for Sylvester McCoy. Uh, I think there was, I think I remember one with the Carnival. Yeah, I remember Ace. Yeah, I think this friend had recorded more of Sylvester McCoy and uh, Colin Baker. So that was neat that this friend borrowed these uh, episodes of Doctor Who to me, so I was able to see the uh, all the other Doctors, the different ways, <clears throat> the different things that they brought to the character. So that was nice. Now, so I went for a long time. Uh, I went a long time without seeing Doctor Who at all. I, I, I loved the show. I liked uh, the, the concept of the show and the, uh, the appearance of the show and everything about it, but I didn't have access to it other than uh, being able to see the, the tapes that this friend borrowed. Uh, so I didn't know how to, how I wasn't able to watch it, so I was frustrated because I wanted to watch the show, but it, we didn't have, uh, well, we didn't have cable for a long time. And then when we did, it wasn't, I didn't see it. If it was on, I didn't know what time it was on. I never, I didn't see it. So that was frustrating. And then the show was taken off the air, so I guess that that was uh, a big reason why I didn't they they didn't have it on because it wasn't uh, they weren't making new episodes. So I went a long time without. Uh, being able to see the show, so that was that was frustrating. I remember uh, many years later. I remember driving to uh, driving a long way to a different town and uh, to a mall and. There were uh, VHS tapes there that I, I bought a few from from this mall that was like far away. <laughs> so I, I really liked doing that. So those those are the first episodes, the first stories of Doctor Who I ever owned. I don't even have those anymore. I don't think I have any of those anymore because I moved to Utah 
And then when I and I was there for a year and a half, and then when I moved back to Minnesota, I lost half my property. So I lost all of the original VHS tapes that I had of Doctor Who. There weren't very many. I didn't. I only had like maybe three or four. But lately, through the years, when when I discovered Amazon, when I discovered Amazon, and I was able to have the money to um, for it, I started to buy them on DVD. So so now, um, I've been getting them. I've been concentrating, like I would sometimes get uh, other things on DVD, uh, shows that I liked, and movies, but but now I've just been focusing on getting Doctor Who. I, I want to get as many episodes, stories uh, of Doctor Who that I can. The, the, one frustrating thing about that, though, is uh, for the a lot of the earlier episodes, like like with uh, Patrick Troughton and and and, and William Hartnell, um, the uh, the BBC threw they wiped they wiped uh, a lot of the um, episodes of Doctor Who are just era were just erased because. Um, they didn't uh, realize how important they were and they needed because the tapes that, that they recorded the episodes on there were these really big tapes and they were expensive I guess so they needed to they needed to record over them uh, thinking back to the 80s and the 90s of having blank VHS tapes. Uh, if you want to record something uh, off of t off of the TV on your VCR, and you, you have to uh, record over what you have. Like I I used to rec use uh, I used to record over uh, I used to use VHS tapes and record over the same tape often. Uh, like back when I used to watch football and. Uh, wrestling I used to do that a lot like record over the same uh, tape a lot so the BBC a lot of the episodes are lost but they're they're there's they're continuing uh, occasionally to find lost episodes of Patrick Troughton and William Hartnell so that's nice 